This clip is sponsored by Wash and & Go, and that can only mean one thing. That's right, I'm surrounded by a sea of green. By now, you should know that Wash & Go is the best way to look after your luscious locks. I mean, look at what it's done for mine. Fantastic. But you don't have to take my word for it. Just look at some of the 600-plus Unreal reviews on their Amazon page. Linda from the United Kingdom says... Well, it smells lush and leaves hair smelling fresh. Fantastic, Linda. Kingdom customer JSB says, product arrived as advertised. Always very important. Always important to know that, Kindle customer JSB. And finally, my personal favourite, it's shampoo and it works for me. Absolutely fantastic there from Casey. It is indeed shampoo and also a conditioner. If you want to get your wash and go today, then hit the link in the description and get your bottle sent to you today. And remember, it's a shampoo and it works for me. Good evening and welcome to That's Football. We're live for the Champions League. The Champions League. It's Chelsea against Lille. And it's a game, you know what, actually, I'm, I'm actually really looking forward to this because I like quite a few Lille players. I like Renato Sanchez. I like Jonathan David. And I like uh, Botman. So, you know, and Angel Gomez is on the bench there. So I actually quite like Lille. I'm, I'm just going to shock you there and say I quite like Lille. So um, I expect Chelsea to win and I've got nothing against Chelsea in the sense that, um, you know, I don't, I've got nothing against Chelsea. I think they were worthy Champions League winners last year. But I do like Lille and I'm looking forward to it. I think there's a massive difference between the French. Yeah, a really good, uh, a really good. Uh, it's 1-0 to Juve, by the way. They're playing Villarreal. Uh, Vlahovic has scored. La Liga in the mud again. Don't tell the Real Madrid and Barcelona fans. They'll be crying. 1-0 to Juve, Juve. Vlavic scores the goal. It's 1-0 there. In the other game, Villarreal against Juventus. There, you know. Good save by the keeper. He's missed a sitter, but he's just hit a great shot. And it's a brilliant save by the little keeper, that. Oh, I tell you what. Give him some credit where it's due. Made a really good save there, Jardim, from Havertz. Who, having missed a sitter from six yards, nearly scores a great goal. And they have scored! It's dominant and he's scored now. He's scored now. He didn't. Havertz didn't miss that one. It's 1-0 to Chelsea. He's headed it into the ground and into the top corner. He doesn't miss that one. And uh, Chelsea lead 1-0. He's just had an amazing seven minutes. Kay Havertz here. Misses a sitter. Nearly scores a great goal. And then from resulting the corner, he, w he gets a free header and heads it into the top corner with a bit of bounce. Chelsea well worth their early lead here and the dominance of the Premier League side showing very early on here. It feels like there's a very big gap between Lille and Chelsea in these first few minutes. And it's 1-0 to Chelsea City winning the Champions League. And I don't want them to win it because they're, uh, they're rivals. Um... Kante, what a goal, what a goal, what a goal that was by Chelsea, superb by Kante, carries the ball, plays the perfect pass to Pulisic and the big goal in the game that we spoke about has come from Chelsea, what a goal, Pulisic gets it, what a run by Kante and that could be a big, big move in the tie. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant by Kante. Rolling back the ears, driving forward like we know he can. Slips in Pulisic, a lovely little dink over the keeper. And you know what? We were just talking about who we want to win there. We'll carry on doing that in a minute. But it's the quality in the final third that's been the difference here. I think Lil have been competitive, but I couldn't understand why they were so competitive in a game where they're mid-table in the French League. But you can see why they're mid-table in the French League. Because they don't have anything going forward. They're not creative enough. They've got the they've got the players, but they just don't seem to have the, the final ball. Sean Fogarty says best youngster in the Premier League. I'm never a very good It doesn't look it looks very it looks very green screen. Uh, Villarreal have scored, it's 1 1 and it's 1 0 to Reading. 1 0 to Reading. 1 1 Villarreal. La Liga fans are chanting. There you go, you might be in the quarterfinals. Imagine if Man United get through and get Villarreal. Um, Parejo, who scores, says Hayley. 
And then you get the extreme opinions on it saying, why is, this, why is it so diverse? Which is just ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy, isn't it? I think there's so many interesting battles in football this season. You've got the race for the title between Man City and Liverpool, which I think could be amazing. You've got the race for the Champions League, which you've got Man City, Chelsea, Liverpool, maybe United, fingers crossed. I, don't, I mean, I doubt it, but... PSG, Bayern Munich, that's going to be interesting. You've got the race for fourth place, Man United, Spurs, Arsenal. You've got the race for relegation, which I think is interesting. Um, you've got the Carabao Cup final on Sunday between Chelsea and Liverpool. And you've got the relegation battle in the Championship, which is legend of Manchester United, Wayne Rooney, against Paul Ince, who's ex-Manchester United as well. Um, it's just, it's just there's so much to keep an eye on. So much to keep an eye on. We, we, I tell you what, with this football, with, with, with this football, you're really spoiling us. We are being spoiled. We are being spoiled. And I hope that, um, I, I, you know, somebody just said the race for relegation laughed my arse off. A natural hazard. If you're a proper football fan, I've seen some cracking relegation day battles. I remember, I remember one year, I don't remember what year it was, Everton were going down at half time. And, um, they managed to stay up like that. You know, the relegation battle very rarely goes to the last day of the season now, but I, I love it. Uh, five minutes added on in this game. Chelsea looking like they've got one foot in the quarterfinal. Lille will have to really go for it in France, which is where Lille is. Oh, Plymouth beat Plymouth lose 2-0 to Cambridge, but uh, Bolton beat Lincoln 3-1. Thogden will be happy. Solly Moores beat Wealdstone 2-1. Some good results tonight. Some good results tonight. A new... Not not if you're a Chelsea fan. It's uh, over two legs. It's you know it's a good result. Villarreal won. Juventus won. That's going to be an interesting second leg. Of course, there's no away goal advantage. So Villarreal, really, if you draw you, this is what this is this is the thing about away goals. If you draw the first, if you draw the game in the first leg and you're the home team. It's basically, if you get your head around it, Villarreal versus Juventus is basically a quarter-final with one one leg being played in Turin. So it's advantage Juventus, isn't it? There's uh, there's no away goals for Villarreal, so basically they're 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 the away team in one game. Um, that's the way I look at it, anyway. And that's the final whistle. Chelsea win 2-1. 2 0. Lil didn't score. 2 0 it is. Between Chelsea and Lil. Um, I'm just waiting to see if Reading have won. <laughs> I'm, ter I'm terrified. I'm absolutely terrified that I might have uh, jinxed it at 2 0. Um Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.